back to MBA Solutions. I am Stravan, Assistant Professor, VVC, MBA Department, Mysuru. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please press subscribe button and bell icon for notification. In our last two video, we have discussed on selling skill. In first video, we have discussed on communication skills and in second video, we have discussed on listening skill. Today, we are going to continue with selling skill on conflict management skill. In conflict management skills, we are going to learn and understand first meaning of conflict, next type of conflict, third component of conflict and lastly conflict resolution process. First, let's understand what is conflict. Conflict is a disagreement between people that may be the results of different ideas, perspective, preference, priorities, belief, values, goals or even maybe organization structure also. For an example, sales executive may be interested in achieving the target. But whereas the manager is interested in achieving the better sales efficiently. Next, we need to understand the difference between conflict and conflict resolution. We already know that conflict is what you get when two or more people have difference. It may be real or perceived, which are not resolved. But whereas conflict resolution is what you do to identify and address in a matured way and in a respectful way also. There are various models which explains the different types of conflict. Among them, we are going to understand first Dollard and Miller model, second Rommel's model. First, we'll go to Dollard and Miller model. According to this model, three type of conflict situation may come across. First is approach approach conflict. Second is approach avoidance conflict. Third is avoidance avoidance conflict. First is approach approach conflict. Here in this approach, the individual must make a choice between the two. This type of conflict may be easily resolved. If you are given an option to select one among the two, obviously you will select the one which is very inviting or attractive. Even though you can select both the options, you need to select only one option. Say for an example, if a sales executive has given a choice of two territory, Mysore and Bangalore, now he has to choose one among them. Tension arises. Obviously, he will select the option which is very, very attractive. Such conflict are not harmful because after selecting one, the other one automatically loses its importance. But in some situation, the choice will be very, very difficult. The individual will be psychologically torn and may lose equilibrium. This type of conflict is graphically represented here. The next is avoidance, avoidance conflict. This conflict involves two goals with a negative balance or power or frame. At time, the individuals are forced to choose among the negative goals only in such conflict both are unwanted but you cannot keep quiet you need to select one among them say for an example when a person get a job out of his hometown which he dislike but he needs to take a option whether to go out of hometown otherwise he need to remain unemployed here the individual is caught between the two repelling threads, fears or situations. When a person cannot choose either of them, he may try to escape from the field itself. But the consequence of escape may be harmful. In the event of such conflict, when there is no way to escape, some people may find a way to escape their tension by developing amnesia or some defense mechanism. 
Next is approach avoidance conflict. This is most complex conflict and very difficult to resolve because in this type of conflict, person is attracted by positive power and pulled by negative power also. Here, the object has got both positive as well as negative valences. Say for an example, a person is approaching to accept a job offer because the salary is attractive, but at the same time he is pulled back as the job is very, very risky. The positive valence attracts the person, but as he approaches, the negative valence pulls him back. The attraction of the goal and inability to approach leads to frustration and tension. These are the different conflict situation explained by Dollard and Miller. Next is Rommel's model. In this model, conflict has been differentiated into conflict structure, conflict situation and manifest conflict. First is conflict structure. Here, the interest of individual have a tendency to oppose each other. Say for an example, a sales executive is supposed to deliver the product to customer at 10 a.m. Because of various reasons, he could not able to deliver the product to customer in time. Now, both are unhappy because sales executive is unhappy since he could not able to deliver the product in time. Whereas, the customer is also unhappy since he could not able to get the product in time. This is conflict structure. Next is conflict situation. Here, the individual interest, attitude, powers get activated. Since the customer could not able to get the product in time, he may threaten to withhold the payment or to take the legal action. This is conflict situation. And the last is manifest conflict. Here, the specific behavior of one party can be seen. Now, in our example, the customer may not make a payment or he may take a legal action since he could not able to get the product in time. This is how the conflict has been differentiated in Rommel's model. On to the conflict process. We all know that conflict arises when the goals, interests or the values of different individual or group differ. When two people have different goals, interests or value, obviously the conflict will come. The conflict process shows the how the conflict works in the organization. In the conflict process, it will identify the stages where the conflict will start and how it grows and how it ends also. There are five stages of conflict process. The first step is potential opposition. Second is cognition and personalization. Third is intention. Fourth is behavior. And lastly, outcome. In these stages of conflict, it will show you how the conflict begins, grows and unfolds among the individual or group with a different interest in the organization. The first step is potential opposition or incompatibility. The first step in the conflict process is the presence of conditions that create the opportunity to conflict. This cause or create opportunities for conflict to rise. Conflict cannot just like that abruptly it will start. There should be some conditions that will give rise to conflict. They do not directly lead to conflict. But 
one of these condition is necessary if the conflict to be present for simplicity sake this condition have been condensed into three general category first is communication second is structure third is personal variable is communication different words connotations connotations are the words apart from the primary meaning which are having a different meaning also for an example when i say blue means obviously i am saying about the color but sometimes it also describes the feeling also like for an example she is feeling blue and the jargons and these are the specialized words used by the professional people which are difficult to understand by the layman and also the noise in the communication also may be the reason for the conflict sometimes too much communication as well as too little communication also can also lay the foundation for the conflict second is structure here in this i am indicating the structure as the variable like size of the organization the degree of the specialization sometimes the leadership style rewards and the degree of the dependence the size and the specialization act as a force to stimulate the conflict the larger the group the more specialization its activity the greater will be the conflict the potential for the conflict tend to be greatest in the younger member the last is personal value certain type of individual who are for an example like authoritarian people authoritarian people these are the people who follow the rules and the regulation very strictly and dogmatic people who follow the discipline strictly lead to potential conflict another reason for the conflict is the even the value system also case 2 is cognition and personalization here in this stage the condition cited in the first stage what is the condition that we have cited the first is because of communication because of structure because of the personal variable the conflict may arises and this conflict should affect negatively for the other individual the conflict whatsoever arises should be pursued by the party first we need to check whether that conflict is affecting or not if no one is aware of the conflict that means there is no conflict at all here the cognition means the mind whatever the conflict is there it should be pursued that perception happens in the mind who is perceiving it is by the person that's why we say the cognition and personalization stage 2 is the place in the process where the parties decide what the conflict is all about and here the emotion plays a very very important role stage 3 is intentions intentions are the decisions to act in a given way intentions intervene between people's perceptions and emotions which are usually displayed in the form of behavior here with a two dimension that is cooperativeness and assertiveness we can classify into five different conflict handling intention here the cooperativeness is the degree the one party attempts to satisfy other party's interest whereas assertiveness is the degree the one party try to satisfy his own interests now the five different handling situations are first is competing second is collaborating third is avoiding fourth is accommodating and the last one is compromising let's analyze all the different situations with an example assume you and your friend plan to go for a movie your plan to go for 
X movie, whereas your friend plan to go for Y movie. Now the question is for which movie to go? Analyze this with the five situations. The first situation is competing. Here the one party try to satisfy his own interest rather than the other party's interest. Here you may never agree to go for Y movie rather than that you want to go for X movie only. Here the situation is I win you lose. The second situation is collaborating. Here both the parties concern or interest are fully satisfied. The intention of the party is to solve the problem by clarifying the difference between them. Here both of you may agree to go for a movie X in one week and for Y in another week. Here the situation is I win, you also win. The third situation is avoiding. Here the person may recognize the conflict exists and want to withdraw from it or suppress it. Avoiding may include ignoring the conflict or ignoring the person itself only. Here you may avoid your friend or you may cancel to go for the movie itself only. The situation is no winner, no loser. The next is accommodating. Here the situation where one party puts other party's interest above. Here you may agree to go for Y movie only. Here the situation is I lose, you win. And the last situation is compromising. Here in this situation where both the party agree to give something. Here both the both of you may agree to go for another movie itself only. Here the situation is I bend, you also bend. Stage 4 is behavior. When most people think of conflict situation, they tend to focus on stage 4 only. Here in this situation, the conflict become more visible, which includes statement, actions and reactions made by both the party. Why this behavior will be seen means each party want to implement their own interest. Say for an example, both of you, you and your friend have not agreed to go for the movie itself only. Now you tell me how will be your behavior, how you are going to talk to your friends, now whether your way of talking and the behavior will change or not. This is the stage 4 behavior. Stage 5 is outcome. Here in this stage, the action, reaction between the parties which can lead into some consequences and these consequences may be positive that is functional or negative that is dysfunctional also. If it is positive or constructive, it may improve the quality, creativity or even the innovation also. If it is negative or dysfunctional, it can lead to destruction of the group itself only. The most undesirable consequences that is people may stop communicating itself only or it may reduce the group coherciveness. These are the five stages of the conflict that we have dealt with. Let's revise all the five stages. The first stage conflict may arise in the form of communication, structure or personal variable. And in the second stage, the conflict should be pursued or it should be filled. And in the third stage, conflict can be handled in competing, collaborating, compromising, avoiding or accommodating situation. Whereas in the fourth stage, the peoples or the 
parties statement action or reaction can be seen in the form of behavior and lastly the consequences of the conflict can be positive or negative if it is positive it will increase the group performance whereas if it is negative it will decrease the group performance